God that the brothers on the rise now. Endless celebrations all in my house. Yeah. Levitating now, I'm super duper fly now. Yeah. London boy, but they see where I reside now. Put the time in while you always yell a time out. Yeah. If I quit it, cause I know I'm coming with it. You were sitting, you were wishing I was handling my business. Yeah. Now I got the ball like Harry Potter playing Quidditch. And my business is so humongous, you were thinking that happens in there. Yeah. Oh man, I'm all that, yeah, I'm all that. I'm all that. Looking for that whip, yeah, that what you call that. I'ma blow up in the summer, have him yelling for some grouper that we caught on a fishing trip that we harvested a couple weeks ago let me show you guys this piece of grouper look at that that is one whole piece of grouper we are gonna blacken that now what I've used on that I seasoned this yesterday I use this black magic Cajun seasoning it's awesome you guys should pick it up uh, you can get it on Amazon I'm going to make a little bit of pico, which is cilantro, red onion, tomato, and I'm going to add just a little bit of jalapeno because you guys know I love a little bit of spice. Then we also got this roasted pineapple habanero um, chutney. I believe we got this at Costco. All right. We're just going to put a little bit of that on top of the grouper once it's done. And of course, you know me, I have to make a sauce. So... It's very basic sauce. It's super easy and it's really, 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 really delicious. Just get some sweet chili sauce. You can use any brand that you like. Um, two limes and some honey. You're going to put that in a pot and I'll show you guys how to do that. And you'll just simmer it and then you'll pour that on top of the grouper once it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and get cutting this pico up and I'll get back to you once we start cooking up the grouper. Now, I'm not going to show you guys any of the sides because it's nothing crazy. I'm just going to do a little bit of mashed potato um, that we have that we need to go ahead and cook up. And probably some green beans. Um, not too sure on that yet. All right. So, get back to you. So, I just got done cutting up the pico. Put some lime juice, salt, pepper, cilantro, red onion, jalapeno, and tomato. And that's what it looks like. It's going to be delicious on top of this grouper. I'm not going to put that in the fridge until we're ready to cook up the grouper. All right. Hey guys, so I just finished the sauce, which was the chili, the chili sauce with lime, butter, and honey. And it's cooling down now. It should be at this kind of consistency. The next step we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and start the grouper. And let's go ahead and get over that. So... Here's the pan. Now I have put some butter and oil. As you can see, it's sizzling. I went ahead and I squirt a Myers lemon. I don't know if you guys have these or if you, I mean, I get them at Publix if you're here in Florida. What these are is they're mixed with um, lemon and orange and they're delicious. So I recommend that you guys try it. So I already put that on the grouper. And, of course, the blackening seasoning. I'm going to put it meat side down, not where the skin was. Just get it in there. Kind of mush it around. Make sure it gets all the flavors. And let it rock out. Now, look. This is a little bit thicker right here. So, you're really going to have to take your time. Don't turn your heat all the way up. And let it do its cooking process. Now, on the same time, you're going to see me with a spoon. And I'm going to be basting it with the uh, butter and oil that's in the pan and we'll see how it goes from there now for my sides like I told you guys I'm not going to be showing you guys that because it's just mashed potatoes and frozen green beans actually um, that's all we had for right now so I'm just going to show you the grouper that's what this is really about is the grouper that I, harvest, uh, that I harvested a couple weeks ago with some friends and my wife. So, when you're basting, take the pan, tip it one side, just like this, 
and you just baste all the flavor of the butter and the oil on top of it. That's all basting is. Now what you're doing is you're building flavors. Not only are you building flavors, but you're also helping it cook. All right, because that hot butter is going to help the cooking process. But it's mainly for the flavor. So what I'm going to do for here is just put a little bit of a uh, cracked pepper on top. Look, guys, I got new shakers. Remember I told you guys that I dropped them in water? Well, look, new ones. I'm just going to crack some pepper. I'm not going to put salt because that... That magic um, blackening season had salt in it, and I don't want the fish to be too salty. I have done that before. Okay, so I don't know if you can see right here in the middle. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Um, you're going to want to wait until... This is all white on the bottom, but you want to wait until it gets about here about the middle of your meat and then flip it so that way it cooks evenly all right so we're not going to flip it just yet we're going to wait a little bit longer and then decide to flip it it's baste again now we're going turn this down a little bit more I really want to have that crust when I flip it. So let's see if that's going to happen. Now, grouper is very meaty, okay? It's not going to be super, super flaky. But that's exactly right there what I wanted. With that blackening seasoning, it looks amazing. It may look burnt to you guys on the video but it definitely is not burnt that's how blackening should be it looks beautiful 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 and now you're going to continue to baste on this side as well all right and now i'm going to take that other half that i had squeezed on there before and now i'm going to use this half and squeeze the rest of it on there right now All right, so I'll show you the finished product once we're done. Sorry guys, battery died. All right, so once I took it out the pan, it did uh, fall apart, which that's okay. It is what it is. So I'm going to take that sauce that we made and go ahead and drizzle some of this on top. And then we'll take that pineapple chutney and throw that on top and then a little bit of cilantro for garnish. So that is what you have. It looks beautiful. It tastes really good. And yeah. That is the finished product. It's the finished product. This camera does not do it justice, that's for sure. But it looks so good. I cannot wait to dig in.